Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to episode nine. Congratulations on getting here. Today, we've already made a gun that rotates and aims towards wherever our mouse is, uh, as you can see right here. Okay, but now we want to actually get this gun to shoot some bullets. So today we're going to be making the bullet scene, uh, and then we're also going to be introducing signals. And signals are really important in Godot, and a lot of people think signals are very confusing, but I really think it's just the way that they're presented. I think that uh, they actually make a lot of sense, and uh, hopefully by the end of this video, you will too. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, remember the last time that we made a new uh, character, what we did is we made this, then we added something to this, and then clicked right-click here, uh, and then we clicked Save Branches New Scene. But the other way you can make a new scene, uh, and usually the way I, I prefer to do so, is to go up here and click the plus button to open a new tab, and then we'll add whatever we want. In this case, we're gonna hit Command A, or click this plus button to create a new node, and we're gonna search for the Area 2D. Uh, any nodes that are in red in Godot are 3D, blue is 2D. Uh, I don't think I've really uh, clarified that, but yeah, that, that's why these nodes just say Camera, or you know area, and these ones say area 2D, to specify that they are 2D nodes. All right, now every area 2D, uh, it, it is simply a node that has the functions, but it requires a collision shape, so we'll add a collision shape node, uh, again as a node as a child, uh, and as you can see, we had this little thing up here uh, on the area 2D, let's go ahead and delete that, uh, and you can see that it, it says essentially that warning you need a, a, a collision shape, so now I'll go ahead and, and add that collision shape, I just hit command Z there, uh, and you can see that now we've got another one that says we need to add a actual shape to this, right? So the collision shape um, is a node that requires you to go over to the inspector tab and actually choose a shape. You see you have several options, although the polygon options, I think it's better to just use the, uh, you saw, you might have seen there that they have a, a polygon, uh, collision polygon 2D. That's probably better than using just the regular collision shape. But for most shapes, we're going to be good with just using either a circle or a square. Keep in mind that squares are usually a little more performant, but in 2D games, you really don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this circle uh, and I'll make it a little bigger. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a sprite here, okay? And this is going to be, of course, the visual representation of our bullet. Uh, and we are just going to use the icon.png again, and I'm gonna make it a wee bit smaller here. So we'll go over here to the transform scale uh, and I'll go ahead and change the X to, uh, I don't know, let's do like 0.6 uh, and then the Y will be like 0.3 maybe. So that, that looks like a decent bullet. Um, and then what you can see there, of course, is that uh, the, the collision shape is much bigger, so now I'll go ahead and reduce this to be something like that. Um, also, you know what, I think I'll just go ahead and use, you can, instead of change this, you can hit that to refresh it, or you can go and click new uh, from that. And I'll go ahead and use the capsule shape like this. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll go to transform on the capsule shape, right, or I'm sorry, the collision shape, uh, and I'll transform it in 90 degrees. So that way it's like that. Uh, and now you should be able to see that uh, it actually, I think that works a little bit better for the bullet. We'll make the hitbox a little bigger. So essentially what this will be is that we're going to use this area to detect if our bullet has hit anything, right? So area 2Ds, uh, the main purpose of them is to detect if anything is in that area, anything enters that area, or anything exits that area, right? And those are the things you're able to do. So with a bullet, uh, essentially if, if it is attached to the bullet and we move the area, if we move the area into something, it's essentially the same thing as that thing entering our area. So thus we can determine if we hit something that way. All right, so now with the sprite, I'm quickly going to do this. Again, this is just for um, some aesthetics, uh, but I figured I'd show people how I did this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bump these two up and that'll just make it gold so it kind of looks a little more like a bullet and that's why I did that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I'll go ahead and hit Command S to save this. I'm gonna save it in the main character here um, and, and I'm just gonna save it as bullet. Okay, so there we go. We've created our second um, scene besides level one, which doesn't really count because it's just a node that we saved, right? This is a solid scene. And now we have a solid scene here that we're going to add a script to. Again, make sure you save the scene before you add the script so that way it adds the script in the correct uh, area. If you do forget and add the script first, uh, make sure you change the location of that in the file system. So this is just a, another tidbit that I do think is important. If you change the location of something by right clicking on it here and then clicking uh, move to, Godot will fix a lot of the dependencies that you might not even know you have uh, because of the position that it's in in the file system. So definitely make sure you go ahead and do it that way. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's handy. Then we'll go ahead and go into the script. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. Now, 
I challenge you, using what you've learned, right, can you make a bullet that just flies straight to the right by some speed, right? And we obviously want it to move faster than our character to move. Well, not obviously, I don't know what game you're making, but I would assume that bullets go faster than I can run. Um, so yeah, go ahead, take, you know, quick pause, see if you can do that, and go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I would do this. First, I'm gonna make the constant, uh, and I'm gonna call this speed. And of course, this is going, not nah, sped, sped. But, uh, uh, and of course, this is going to be equal to uh, uh, the, the speed at which the bullet moves. Again, it, it really doesn't matter what order you did this in, um, but I, I typically define my variables first. So what speed, uh, I think I'm gonna do 2000, because the screen's pretty big. Definitely depends on your screen size, your game, your stuff like that. Uh, and then of course, we're going to use the physics process, right? Because physics process is how we change things over time. In this case, the position. Right, we're gonna use the global position. You probably actually could get away with using position, but it's, it's just always good to use global position. Uh, then we'll go ahead and say plus equals. Uh, and what direction do we want it to go in? I, th I hope I said right, because we want it to go in right uh, by default, right? Vector two dot right, okay? And we'll say times uh, our speed, times our speed, and then times delta, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and just run the scene and we can see that it goes perfectly to the right and, and that's all we want. Now there's two things we wanna do, right? We wanna make it so that if this bullet hits something, we want it to die, right? Or, or despawn, queue free, whatever you wanna call it. Or if it flies off the screen, we want it to uh, die. So to do that, uh, I'm going to be introducing signals because that's how we'll be using the Area 2D's ability to detect if we've entered uh, an area such as a wall in our case or, or an enemy, right? Uh, and also we're gonna be using something called a visibility notifier node. So if you pr click the uh, plus button right here to add a new node, we can search visibility. And you can see we got the visibility notifier, visibility notifier 2D. I actually don't know what the enabler does. Um, enable certain nodes when proximally visible. Oh, that's actually pretty handy. But anyway, we're gonna use the visibility notifier 2D. And so uh, as the name suggests, this node's sole purpose is to determine if we are or are not on the screen, right? Uh, and it's really smart at doing that. And the way you connect or you actually use that ability is to use something called signals. Now I, I quickly kind of went over what signals are, but I, I wanna give a better explanation. Signals are essentially something where uh, you're, well, I mean, they are what they say, right? What, what would you imagine a signal is, right? It's a way of sending information. Uh, in this case, in Godot, the information is, it's sent when a, an event happens. And I mean event very, very literally. Uh, it just depends on what that event is. In the visibility notifier, right, one event would be if it's on the screen. If it enters the screen, that's an event, right? And if it exits the screen, that's another event. Same thing with the area 2D, right? If we enter the area, that's one event. And if we leave the area, that's another event. And you can see we have area entered and area exited. We have actually uh, many more signals for area. That's why visibility 2D is actually a great uh, way to learn these because we can use the screen entered and screen exited uh, 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 signals here. Now, uh, it's important to note, and I didn't, I kind of glossed over this, but the visibility notifier, uh, if we move it around, you can see it's this little pink square. This is the part of it that needs to uh, actually move off the screen for anything to uh, be detected or any of these events to be triggered. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, let's go to the transform and put it back to zero by clicking the reset. So it's right here, right on our bullet. And then what we'll do is go over here to the node and go to the screen exited signal. So again, once this leaves the screen, we will call this signal. But how do we actually use that? Is we double click on this or hit enter, uh, and you can see it pulls up connect a signal to a method. Again, a method is the same thing as a function. Uh, and you can see, of course, that this is just mimicking the scene tree um, right there. You can see they're exactly the same. In that we wanna go ahead and add the uh, area 2D because that's the one that we have a script. So we'll go ahead and make sure that's selected. It already is by default. It's gonna select the topmost node, but you can change that uh, if any of your other nodes have scripts. Uh, you can see the receiver method, so you can change the name of it. Uh, and this is the basic format for uh, a, a, a signal method in Godot. It says on, right? So essentially on is like when, when this happens. Uh, and this is the name of the node here. We have visibility notifier 2D because that's what we named the node here. Uh, and then we have the signal that it is receiving, which is screen exited. So go ahead and click connect here. Uh, and you can see that it just automatically pops us into our bullet script. Remember, here's that code we wrote. And it says on visibility 2D, visibility notifier 2D screen exited. And it's got this little green uh, symbol here that shows that it's connected. If you do not see this symbol, it is not connected, right? 
And so now, whenever this leaves the screen, it will trigger, trigger this signal. And you can see that now in the node tab here, uh, it shows that it's connected. So you, here's the inspector tab, here's the node tab, unless you were confused about that. Uh, and you can see that it's connected. And whenever that event happens, it will run whatever is here in this function. So it's kind of like how in the ready function, Godot is calling that when the scene starts, right? Or this node enters that tree. This is, you can think of this kind of similarly. Because we've added this node and this functionality and connected that signal, uh, the Godot or this node is going to call this function when this happens, when the screen is exited. So what do we want to happen there? Well, we want to die. And there's a simple uh, function in Godot for basically a, a just removing that node or scene from the game, right? Or technically an instance, right? And so this is just Q free. And so if you start searching, uh, searching Q, it'll come up. I don't know how to spell Q from memory. I don't know why I can't spell this word, but there you go. That's Q free. And essentially what this does is it puts this object uh, in the physics process and it says at the end of the this physics frame from when you call this, make sure that you remove this object from the game, right? You want to delete it and you want to stop having it take up uh, memory in space. And the reason we want to do that on Visibility Notifier 2D, right, is because if we shoot this and it goes off the screen, Godot has to remember how fast it's going, where it is. I mean, like, you know, you play your game for 20 minutes and if you shut off the screen, you might have a bullet that's, you know, a few thousand pixels away in like virtual space and Godot still has to keep track of that. So we want to queue it free if it leaves the screen, uh, although you might not want that uh, depending on your game. And we also, again, want to queue it free or basically make it uh, die when it hits an enemy. So what we'll do is we'll come over here and I actually think I want to do, uh, we'll do on, oh, these are actually new signals with 3.3 shape entered. But we're going to use the body entered signal. So area is if it enters another area's collision shape and body is if it enters a physics uh, body collision shape. And so again, remember that we have, uh, I discussed the physics body, the kinematic body, the static body, and the rigid body. Uh, and essentially the body entered signal is triggered when it hits one of those nodes. And that's what we want in this case. So we're gonna say the body entered signal. So when we enter one of those, right, our, our area enters that, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna hit enter here. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and you can see that it says the receiver method on area 2D, which is the node body entered and click connect. Uh, and then we wanna do the same thing. We wanna go ahead and queue free, okay? And now we've made our simple bullet. Now there are a little more, there's a little bit more that we want to do to the movement in order to make sure that it goes in the right direction. But this is essentially all the code we're going to need to make a bullet. I'm not going to be changing this substantially in the future. And this is to make sure that it hits walls and dies when it goes off screen. So congratulations, we've made our first bullet. Uh, we'll go ahead and refine it just a little bit in the next episode and actually get our gun to shoot by learning about how to instance nodes. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.